Greetings. Uh, I join you from Canada. My name is Karen Rodman. Um, I'm with uh, Just Peace Advocates, a human rights group here in Canada, and also on the board of the Canadians for Justice and Peace in Kashmir. I'm glad to be joining you. And as we consider colonization in Indian occupied Kashmir, we also remember that Canada was founded on and continues to be party to ongoing violence against the indigenous peoples of Turtle Island. Thank you for including me in this important program as we consider the over seven decades of broken promises, international promises to the people of Kashmir. Let us remember that it was India that on December 31st, 1947, first brought the matter of Kashmir to the United Nations. Less than a month later, under the United Nations Security Council Resolution 39, the United Nations Commission for Indian and India and Pakistan, the UNCIP, was formed. And the, following this, the United Nations Security Council passed Resolution 47 on the 21st of April 1948. Resolution 47 laid the basis for the resolution of the Kashmir issue. Canada very much had its fingerprints on that resolution with Canada um, then uh, United Nations Representative Andrew McNaughton being one of the pre being the president of the United Nations Security Council at that time and having shown leadership in drafting and also in the approval of the resolution. Then on January 5th, 1949, the United Nations Commission for India and Pakistan laid out a detailed plan for self-determination. Both India and Pakistan had already accepted the proposal beforehand. The approved plan provided for details for free and impartial plebiscite promised by the United Nations Security Council Resolution 47 and included details related to the free right of return that had been promised um, with the provision to exercise rights as citizens for those returning. It also provided for freedom of press, of speech and assembly, and freedom of travel in the state, including freedom of lawful entry and exit. It also called for the release of all political prisoners. It would have seemed reasonable at that time to be optimistic that the people of Jammu and Kashmir indeed would have the right of uh, self-determination recognized through a plebiscite that had been promised to them through Resolution 47. But of course, the forces of imperialism and colonization were at place even uh, in that immediate post-World War II period where the world seemed to have its hopes pinned on a shiny new institution of the United Nations. And so here we are 75 years later. Jammu and Kashmir remain an internationally recognized disputed territory. Still no plebiscite, still no right of return for generations exiled, and even less freedom of assembly, speech, and press um, in the uh, years since uh, August uh, 2019. With the revocation of Article 370 and 35A in early August 2019, the way was set to move from decades-long military occupation into an aggressive settler colonization in Indian-occupied Kashmir. Settler colonization was given the full green light when on March 31st, 2020, um, as the world was focused on the COVID-19 pandemic, the Indian government introduced the new domicile law. This law shifted the focus to demographic change and to aggressive taking of land and resources from the indigenous population of Jammu and Kashmir. The domicile law is counter to the United Nations Security Council Resolution 47 and subsequently five additional United Nations Security Council re resolutions that were passed during the 1950s that called for a plebiscite to determine the future of the disputed territory. Article 49 of the Geneva Convention states that an occupying power shall not transfer its own civilian population into a territory it occupies 
And under Article 1, all high, con high contracting parties, which uh, includes Canada and uh, many other states, are required to take action to ensure the respect of the Convention in all circumstances. Over these last three years, settler colonization in Kashmir has been happening at the speed of light behind a veil of silence with communications blockages and uh, the world uh, not uh, paying attention uh, of what was happening. In fact, the demographic changes uh, in the first few months uh, were, were um, more significant on a percentage basis than uh, had occurred over uh, 55 years since uh, the, uh, the occupation of the, of the West Bank uh, by Israel um, for the Palestinian people. During a uh, Canadian election in the fall of 2021, questions were asked of all candidates and all parties uh, regarding Kashmir. The Bloc Quebecois was the only party to respond. Um, they indicated that they would be ready to move with a motion uh, to hold the Indian government accountable. But now, uh, approaching uh, two years later, they still remain silent on that. Also, all elected officials were provided with information about Kashmir following the election. There have been thousands of letters and a number of uh, Canadian parliamentary petitions uh, that uh, have taken place. Um, and certainly through this work, the uh, hope is to raise awareness and, uh, and uh, make sure members of parliament know about the situation in Indian occupied Kashmir and to call on them to start the work that was began initially back 75 years ago with Canada's leadership uh, at the United Nations around that promise for a plebiscite through Resolution 47. It is an honor to be able to work with a Kashmiri diaspora and solidarity organizations here in Canada and around our, the world um, as we work together to shine a light on the truth about the history and the present situation in Kashmir. As we are now at three quarters of a century of broken international promises, we need to work to make that light brighter, holding our governments, our media, corporations, and other institutional decision makers accountable so the promise for self-determination can be realized for the people of Kashmir. I wish you all the best with your conference. I'm sorry that I'm not able to be there in person, but uh, please to make comment and we'll be following your proceedings. Thank you so much.